As True Blue's Robbie Buller reports, time is running short to save the season, especially after last Friday's loss at Utah State. On Saturday, BYU hoped to jumpstart its offense and end a three-game losing skid. Something had to give as the nation's 116th ranked scoring offense faced its 101st scoring defense in Utah State. But the upset-minded Aggies quashed that wishful thought even before halftime. DeAndre Burrell hit Xavier Martin in stride for 79 yards to draw first blood. And a wide open Martin. Xavier Martin. Can he stay in? Yes. Touchdown, Aggies. Burrell and Durbin Spate each punched one-yard tickets to the end zone as Utah State dominated the Cougars 24-3 in the first half. BYU's struggling offense sputtered at best. Jake Heaps was 27 for 55 for 270 yards, but threw two interceptions and zero touchdowns. Utah State never let up and walked away with an easy 31-16 win. The Aggies came into the game giving up over 28 points per game, but the Cougars couldn't take advantage. BYU's 16 points is just barely over its season average of 15 it had coming into the game. As the offensive drought continues, answers are few for the Cougars. Can't, can't really say why, other than it's just an area that we'll have to keep working on. Um, I don't have another answer besides that. We're not finishing as well as, well, as, well as we should, and um, we just got to get, keep getting better. If we don't wake up and bounce back from this, it'll, it'll be a rough Saturday next week. So we, we got to get up, we got to move on, and we just got to take it in stride, learn every single day, and uh, continue to get better as a team. But I think it was just execution driven, not in any one particular play nor in one particular facet of the game, just the uh, execution overall. Obviously, we're just going to have to put that much more effort into each practice, uh, you know, focus that much more and, and, and just be more prepared and execute. I'm looking forward to, to winning a football game. BYU has now lost four straight, the first time that's happened in a single season since 1993, which is also the last year the Cougars lost to the Utah State Aggies. From Romney Stadium in Logan, Robbie Bolo, True Blue. Robbie's in studio with us. Uh, national TV, not the finest hour for the fellas. Certainly not against Utah State either. You go up against an, another team that's 1-3 just like you. You've had troubles on offense all year. You're playing the team that's 101st in the country in scoring defense. This is your chance, and you barely put 16 points up on the board. Seems to me the challenge is nobody's making plays. So you have a freshman quarterback. Well, if a freshman quarterback's playing with 10 guys who are all making plays, he can really look good. Or you go on the other side of the ball and you got 11 guys out there trying, but I don't know what. It just seems like nobody is making plays, and that's making all the pressure on Jake Heaps and, and, and making him struggle. Sometimes you can win a game when only one side of the ball does well. You know, your offense can win a shootout where you both score 50-plus points, but when your offense is 114th in the country, your defense is 86th, neither side's doing well, you know, you're not going to win any games that way when you're only scoring 16 when you're giving up 28 plus a game. Right, you can't blame that on, on one guy playing one position. you gotta, you got to have everybody involved. Well, what's the psyche of this group now? Because San Diego State comes in for homecoming Saturday. They beat Utah State 41-7 to two weeks ago. And they're ninth in the country in scoring defense. So this offense is not going to get a break. Then after that, you go TCU, who's fifth. Utah, the end of the year, seventh. So this offense has got to figure out how to get stuff clicking because they're still going to face three of the top ten defenses in the country. You're not going to get a break. The Mountain West is getting stronger. You're scheduling stronger non-conference opponents. This right. is the worst scoring team BYU has had in 40 years, and they've got to find a way to get something working. If they want to go to a bowl game, it is a must-win on Saturday. Absolutely. Homecoming last year, they got destroyed by TCU. You're coming back to Lavelle Edwards Stadium. You like to win those games. They can kind of start fresh. You know, you're 0-1 in conference. You can still win the conference if you win out. Hopefully Air Force gets beat, but, yeah, this is a must-win. Okay, we'll be there. Robbie, thank you.